Hi, my name is Jamie Prill. I'm Executive Director of the Historical Society of Saratoga Springs. And my name is Darren Miller. I'm the President of the Board of Trustees. We'd like to welcome you to our museum. As tourists and locals come to Saratoga Springs, they pass a sign that reads, Health, History, and Horses. But the Historical Society is all about the history aspect of that trilogy. Come on inside, we're going to show you our museum. Well, now we're inside the Canfield Casino in the Historical Society Museum. The casino was built in 1870 by John Morrissey. Morrissey ran the building until 1878 at his death, and two business partners from there ran it until Richard Canfield purchased this in 1894. Upon purchasing, Canfield invested nearly a million dollars in renovating the casino and the Italian gardens behind the building, which include Spit and Spat. The window that you're looking at is actually part of Canfield's renovations that he added about 1902 or 1903. And he ran the building until 1907. And in 1911, the city of Saratoga purchased it. And since then, the Historical Society has made this our home. In 1883, the Historical Society of Saratoga Springs is one of the nation's oldest historical societies. It's also one of Saratoga Springs' oldest organizations. People frequently call here asking us, what color can I paint my house? Or what renovations may I make? However, that's not the business of the Historical Society. We're essentially a museum. We collect and preserve art and artifacts, and some of our exhibitions, as you can see, are much sexier and racier than others. When I come into the high stakes room here on the second floor of the Canfield Casino, I try to imagine what this room was like in 1870. When gamblers were sitting at these tables playing cards and playing roulette, hundreds of thousands of dollars changed hands here in a single evening in card games. That's a lot of money today. It was even more money back then just goes to show the opulence that Saratoga Springs had at the turn of the century. We heard a little bit about the rich and famous. Now Marianne's going to tell us more about the locals in Saratoga Springs. Hi, here we have an exhibit of a neighborhood in Saratoga Springs that's typical of neighborhoods all over the country. And many people relate to this exhibit on many levels. Either they've lived in a neighborhood like this, or they've visited restaurants, or they have a railroad that they're familiar with, and it validates their experiences when they see them on the wall in their local history museum and encourages them to come back again. Well, I'm standing here next to a bicycle which dates from the early 20th, if not late 19th century. And when I think about this, I think about um, early Saratoga Springs and the Floral Fet Parades. There's a photograph on the wall behind me of Floral Fet. It was like Saratoga Springs Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl Parade. And these parades were held in the late 19th and early 20th centuries as celebrations. The Historical Society is not only a museum, it's also it has an archive. And our archives include over 350,000 photographic images. Some of the images are beautiful, like the Spencer Trask Memorial here in Congress Park. Other photographs are much more utilitarian, like this crime scene photograph from the early part of the 20th century, which depicts a homicide scene, quite gruesome and gory. Mary Ann would be more than happy to show you all the photographs that you would like in the archives. I'm standing here in part of, the, in part of our permanent exhibition on Saratoga history. It is Saratoga Trunk. And we, we use the contents in here during our educational programs. Children and students are able to take the objects out and actually handle and feel them. It's hands-on history. Vital for our future that we remember and learn about our past. As you can see, the Historical Society offers a wide assortment of historical items to look at. Please come and join us at the Historical Society and learn about Saratoga Springs. The Canfield Casino is located in Congress Park, and visitors of all ages are welcome. 